Hi guys, how you all doing? So in this video, I'll teach you how you can install the latest Tailwind CSS with the help of npm. So let's start, shall we? Uh, but before we start, you need to be sure that you have the latest npm or not. You can check that by typing npm-p. So see, I am getting 6.1 posts. That means I'm okay. So if you are also getting this, then you are okay. If you're not, you can download the Node.js for your for your operating system. Uh, yeah, from here. See. Download. Yeah. So you can download from here if you are not getting this. So after that, let's get started. Go to the installation and yeah. So let me first go to my VS Code editor, and here I have made a file. This one. Let me go to that. Uh, yeah. So first of all, you need to install these three npm packages. The, uh, let me first tell you that the dash t means you want the development version of it of these packages and at the rate latest means that you want the latest version of these packages so these are three packages that you need to install so tell me css is telling css post css is a uh, it gives you functionality uh, extra css functionality that doesn't come with the default css functions and and it, it comes with lots of packages and one of those packages is auto prefixer Auto prefixes allows you to add or remove vendor prefixes. So vendor prefixes is like new features of CSS which are recently released. Plus it has lots of features. So because of this, we need to install this as well. This as well because post CSS uh, auto prefixer comes under the post CSS. Okay. So in a theory, let's go. Uh, paste and hit enter. Hmm. Okay, so it might take some time, maybe like 10 to 15 seconds, not more than that. So I might pause the video or anything. I don't know. Let's just wait. By the way, you need to create a index.html file and style.css file inside this folder so let me make this one index.html file by the way you can name anything of your html file but i'm just naming it index.html okay so i made this one file and i'm going to make another one for the file for css so i'm naming it style.css you can name anything but just uh, it should end with .css okay so in index.html, I'm going to create a super fast HTML page. I don't know why it's taking too much time. Anyway, let's ignore that. So I'm going to create a boilerplate by typing this. It's, it's an extension. You can create this manually as well. So I'm going to write something that you should listen. Why you? Okay, and yeah, so uh, after that, you have to go and import these three Tailwind directives. Okay, so actually, mm, let me first see. these three directives actually, these are coming from those non modules inside here. Uh, I won't show right now, but uh, just for telling you that. So, after this, you have to generate. Uh, 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 yeah, so you have to generate a fully compiled Tailwind CSS file. For that, what you can do is, uh, yeah, this is the last step. You have to do this one. And here, I have to change the, I'm changing the file structure a little bit. So, uh, I'm explain, I will explain you in just a minute style.css so yeah what i'm doing right now is that 
this style dot css is this one okay so it is going to take these these things from here and it is going to generate the whole tailwind css file inside tailwind dot css file which is not here but it will automatically create when when i'll hit enter so after that just click on hit enter and wait for a few seconds and after the compilation we are going to use this tailwind.css file inside our html file so that it will be, we will be able to use tailwind.css in our html file so uh, let me yeah just remove this thing here. and looks like it's done okay see done in one five seven six s so yeah everything is ready now i'm going to uh, open my html file so i'm going to pre uh, open with live server uh, it is a uh, it is a extension you can use it also uh, 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 yeah this one you can use this one or you can directly open the html file from your browser so yeah this is ready let's see you see that uh, it is showing some different font than the default html let me edit something just to show that it works so let me style uh, so class is equal to is equal to come on yeah so bg 400 300 uh text xl padding 20 okay so let's see uh, let me change the background and text by uh, background blue and text see why you know like the video bro so as you can see that the tailwind css is totally working fine in my html file which i had downloaded from the npm so that's it guys if you like the video uh, if you, sorry if you like the tutorial you can like the video 